With a signature from Alabama Governor Kay Ivey, Alabama has now outlawed virtually all abortions, including those after rape or incest. Now, Missouri has also passed a highly restrictive bill banning abortions at eight weeks. Opponents of the court decision that legalized abortion are hoping likely challenges to these new laws get the issue of abortion back to a now more conservative Supreme Court. CBS News' Jerika Duncan explains. In the middle of the night, the Missouri Republican Senate passed a heartbeat bill that bans abortion at eight weeks. Supporters say the bill will save the lives of women and children. We're seeing the, the results of countless women entering into politics and saying, we want to protect women, we want to protect babies, we want to make abortion not just illegal, but unthinkable. The bill does not make exceptions for pregnancies caused by rape or incest. Missouri's governor supports the ban. We can make a bold stand for life. The pro-life legislation comes just hours after Alabama's Governor Kay Ivey signed controversial legislation that nearly bans all forms of abortion. Doctors who perform the procedure could face up to 99 years in prison. All human life is precious. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman says it could be two years until the Alabama law makes it to the Supreme Court. Others will reach the docket sooner. You may have a whittling away of Roe long before there would be a case that could ultimately overturn it. At least 18 other states have introduced some version of a ban on abortion so far this year. Televangelist Pat Robertson, an abortion opponent, says Alabama has gone too far. They want to challenge Roe versus Wade, but my humble view is that this is not the case we want to bring to the Supreme Court. The ACLU is preparing a legal challenge to the Alabama law. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.